What's going on guys? Sapro Final Four here. I decided to get back into the Lapras Frost Moth deck a little bit again. I'm playing a few matches with it. Uh, to be honest, this deck, I don't know what it is, but you know, I I, I had a I, I used it like when I made the deck profile and I used it a lot. I was doing pretty okay. Now that I got back with it, it just seems like I've been breaking every time. I mean, lost a lot of matches. Hopefully we have a, a little bit more luck today. Uh, but anyways, open up with my uh, Snom there. Got the Frost Moth, but have a bunch of other stuff like the Double Energy Retrieval. I don't need that right now. And Double Cynthia. Um, but I think I might have a little bit of luck as my opponent seems to be using... Well, not the usual GX and V decks. Let's just say that. Opened up with this Drill Burr. It's got that Deancey there, so obviously his main attacker is going to be fighting. It's got that uh, Blitzel there, I think is what it's called, that evolves into Zipstrika. And, I mean, if I was a guessing man, I, I guess that's the word. You know, there's only one, well, there's two actually, but one, I guess you could say, proper Excadrill that can actually do some heavy damage. And that's that one from Cosmic Eclipse that has the, uh, I guess you could say, like, sort of special full art with Clay, a gym leader from Drift Veil. Vale. So it's a nice little stage one deck. You can do a lot of damage for one energy, but I don't like the side effects of uh, discarding and milling your own cards. But I think this is what my opponent is going to be going for here. Um, they evolved into the Zip Striker already. Played down a Fioni 2 to mess with me. And there's his Martial Arts Dojo. So I think it's just pretty obvious. This is going to be a straightforward anti-meta, you know, non-GX, non-V, uh, Excadrill deck. Sort of a rogue deck. And this is what he's going to try. He's just going to try and do heavy damage with a Pokemon that only gives one prize. Martial Arts Dojo, of course. Uh, it's going to give him that advantage. If he's behind in prizes, which I'm guessing he thinks he's going to be, but... <laughs> against my inconsistent deck uh, maybe not so much but if he's down in prizes he will be able to do some very heavy damage between the martial arts dojo and Excadrill and Deancey and uh, this guy can get like two hit knockouts if you're behind on prizes on even a VMAX Pokemon so I guess that's his plan here just do some heavy ass damage and overwhelm your opponent quickly so it's gonna go for the Fioni there. I have a difficult decision to make. To be honest, whatever I promote is shit. I decide to go with the Dodene GX. This is actually pretty risky because this is easy prey for my opponent. Not only because it has low HP, it's gonna give two prizes, but since it's weak to fighting, it's pretty much guaranteed to die against this guy. But my approach is, you know, sacrifice the Dedene, and then every one of my guys is fresh, like my main attackers. And then we're just going to overwhelm our opponent with our large HP, heavy attacking a Pokemon. I, as soon as I just get my Frost Moth and Lapras VMAX out. And there's the Excadrill, looking pretty cool there. Uh, these sort of special, I guess you could say, uh, full arts with trainers and Pokemon in the background are kind of cool. Uh, got the Don one with Piplup, that was pretty nice. Man, that Empoleon deck. Yeah, I used it a while ago. But he got the KO with uh, Excadrill pretty easy. It sucks, like I've said, but we had to make that sacrifice. I, I guess I could have just sacrificed the Slom, but I guess we didn't do it. It might bite me in the ass, but now we get both of the uh, Frost Moths out so that I know that if he decides to pick on one I've got the other that's always the philosophy why you want to save your main engine of a stage one or stage two so let's see go with Erica draw six cards use the incense first so that I you know don't draw the Lapras VMAX and I think since we got a few damage counters on this dude I can just use the um, Volcanion it's only gonna give one prize I can get the job done with the three water energies. And I can spread on the other guys. Not that it's going to matter, but... 
Why not, right? It's a one prize Pokemon. So Sauna Blast, get the job done here. So now we get our first prize. And now that I've got my dudes out, all I need is just water energies and I can control the game. But, you know, we still got to be careful. I mean, I shouldn't underestimate my opponent because he's using Rogue. Because Rogue can't be strong uh, with a little bit of luck. And if your deck flows nicely, I know because I used Tier 2 and Tier 3 decks all the time. So he promotes the damn Ditto there and is going to go for a great ball. What are you going to grab? Biacha. Didn't get anything. And... Uh, uh, Palpad. Alright. I think he played another one before too. His deck is probably filled with those. Goes for the fighting energy and uh, I'm guessing he will try and just see the Excadrill there. So Ordinary Rod. Uh, he's going to get uh, Drill Boy Excadrill of course. Uh, and he decided to get the fighting energies. Okay. Um, that might mess up your drawing but I think he knows what he's doing. So went for the Zipstriker. Sprint. This is another Pokemon that we're going to lose from Lost Hunter. Which reminds me, I completely forgot to mention the Emolga from Lost Thunder 2. I can't believe I, I Sets are so big with so many good cards that I was bound to fuck up. I mean, I forgot about Swampert, but then I remembered it. And I mentioned it. But in the end, we did the videos and I never mentioned Emolga from Lost Thunder. It's crazy because I've used it so much in my Gengar deck and expanded too. You'd think I remember. It escaped me by just being like a common and common card. But yeah, that card, you could do a lot of stuff with it. Uh, since you could add cards. Add copies of it or add other nuzzle Pokemon from your deck to your hand. I guess it's good though because it's going to fuck up the unknown deck. I mean, unknown was going to rotate out anyway too. Hate that Porygon Z unknown deck. Uh, but anyway, uh, my opponent did 150 on the Volcanon, and it's just perfect that he can't get the one hit KO. It's just exactly what I want. Uh, it's just little things that make a difference. Cannot get the KO. Obviously, I'm going to retreat, but let's do Jet Geyser first and let's see what he promotes. And. I want him, uh, uh, my hope is the Dene. I mean, he might p promote the Dene with the same thing in his mind. He's thinking a little bit here. Come on, dude. And he went with the Drill Boy. It actually surprised me a little bit. Um, that's your main attacker, so if that guy dies, you've got the other one. Uh, yeah, I, I, I guess he was, he probably made the right move because, yeah, since I promoted my Dedene, he didn't promote his Dedene. Yeah, uh, I think it was a good move on his end, uh, letting me get the two prizes easily. Okay, I mean, it, there is a risk promoting his main attacker there, Drill Bird to die, and uh, it just allows me to use the Volcanion one more time. I wasn't going to have to retreat and lose the energies. But I did want him to promote the Dene so I can get those two prizes. But anyway, now we're at even prizes. And it just seems like I've got the advantage. I mean, he's going to get the KO here, so he still has sort of a, a quicker pace than me. But once I start promoting my Lapras VMAX, he's not going to be able to get those KOs easily. And I'm going to overwhelm him with my strong attacks. I guaranteed get a one-hit knockout. And it's pretty, pretty simple. So let's go ahead and put the water energy on Lapras and go for Marnie, of course. Okay, saw, capacious back, bucket, energy retrieval, water energy, everything I need. So very, very good. And it's pretty simple. I mean, just keep attacking. 
one slap press gets to really hurt, I'm going to move it out of the way and use the other lap press. And if he can't pull like with a boss's orders or something, I'm easily going to win the game. Uh, let's just hope everything goes according to plan. So, lap press VMAX, get the KO on your dude. He did manage to get another drill bar on his field. So if he evolves, he can still attack. Get the... Uh, uh, Don makes the Cross GX. I'm probably not going to bench that. It's too risky. Goes for Crush and Hammer. Fuck, he got hit. Thank God I still got the energy retrieval. Manually attach energy. That would have been problematic. Uh, it's good. It's good that I had the energy retrieval. All right. And I suppose he's still going to use Sprint. Gets another Drillbur again. I mean, he's his only attacker. Goes for research. It's going to be close to decking out too, but I think it's what he wants in this deck. Uh, you need to be like almost decked out or something if you can do the 11th hour tackle or whatever the fuck is called. Anyway. Uh, decides to sacrifice uh, his dojo to get rid of my swell. At this point, he's not going to be in the plus. And I think... Even with Diancy, he's not in that two-hit KO range, which is actually good. Drill Bazooka, 140. So yeah, I'm not bad, not bad. But you know what? Let's use Energy Retrieval. I think I might still have to switch just to be safe. I don't want to take any risks. Let's attach the Water Energy on you. And manually attach one over here. Go for quick ball. Yeah, discard this dude. And uh, I can even grab Eldegoss. Go for Marnie. Should I do it? That's a good question. I guess we're going to get Lapras. Uh, yeah, not even going to play it, just discard it so I can thin my deck as much as possible. Because <clears throat> what we want to do is get our own boss's orders. Once I get another KO, I use my own boss's orders, put the Dedene, and uh, finish the game off. So we're going to switch into the Lapras VMAX, be completely safe, as safe as I can. GMAX Pump. Now I'm at down to two prizes. We do have the boss's orders in hand. So, if he doesn't do anything, I can use my boss's orders and win. So it looks like it's going to be my game, but unfortunately, evolves into the Excadrill. <laughs> I remember, he's still got those sprints. He uses boss's orders, pulls my dude. I guess I should have seen it coming. And, you know, that Dedene play uh, bit me in the ass, messed me up there. I wasn't going to lose. But I go GG either way. I didn't get the chance. It was kind of cool, you know, playing up against this rogue deck. Uh, so, yeah. It's kind of sad. It's kind of sad. I lost, but it is what it is. GG. Lap press failing me once again. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys subscribe. Leave a like. Share this video with your friends. I'll see you guys next time. We'll say, yeah.